up everybody um <clears throat> so this weekend was kind of shot i've been sitting around waiting for spectrum i think they're like the generic version of comcast for everybody that's on the west coast I'm supposed to have internet out here i called and they said that i do have cable out here so they made an appointment for saturday then they rescheduled for sunday and the guy just came out and once again, I was let down by fucking corporate America and some dipshit with a phone that said, oh yeah, you got cable out there. We just got to send somebody out to hook you up. So we don't have cable. They got a pole cable, fucking like 600 feet. I think two poles. Um, hopefully that doesn't cost much. If anything, then I can, then I'll have internet. I probably won't get anything done. But in the meantime, while I don't have internet, we just have to entertain, entertain ourselves by like reading books, watching DVDs, maybe build a cabin, talking to, each other. talking to each other. It's horrible. Life without the internet is awful. We've actually gotten to know each other a little bit better. Ew. Yeah. So today we are harvesting mason jars. <laughs> we got a bunch in this barn. Uh, so, yeah, we're just gonna climb back here and we're gonna see what we can find. How'd you do? Good, found a bunch. A lamb mason jar. If you guys know anything about mason jars, let us know. Look what we found. Yeah, got a lot of jars. None of these are cracked. Um, there's a couple big ball ones that were back there, smashed, unfortunately. I don't know what these are worth. Probably 10,000 to a million dollars, I'd is. say. I mean, you know, if you account for inflation. Um, you can't find jars right now either. You can find jars, you can't find lids. No, you can't. Jars are getting hard to find too. Oh, yeah, so we're probably millionaires at this point. Um, we might just sell the place and move to Florida. So if anybody's making offers, let us know. Um, yeah, so now we'll move on to the root cellar next. The, uh, there's jars in there and they're full of stuff with spiders and probably snakes. I actually think that's an old well house. So that'll be exciting for us to go uh, explore. Yeah. I peeked in there really quick and I got out as soon as I got in. Um, we got more jars. Yeah, look, there's a spigot in here. Hey, they even got power in here. What? Yeah, this is where the well was. This is a pump house. Oh, oh shit. We got a well. Cool. I doubt it works, but maybe it's sand point and you just pound it down a little. Ugh. Snakes. Snake skin? Ugh. Yeah. Looks like a black snake skin. All right, well, we're just gonna leave this here. I'm never gonna go in here. I seen a snake skin, I'm out. Ooh, oil burning lamp for the cabin. Get it, get it, get it. I'm getting it. This is how I'm gonna illuminate my off-grid cabin. I'm trying, I'm trying not to get bit by a rattlesnake or something. Hot damn. This is Kyle McCarty reporting to you live from my well house slash jar house. Maybe root cellar. Anyways, I found something Look at that snake skin. Goes and goes and goes. That's a big boy. Fucking gnarly. Does anybody know if snakes just sleep and they don't wake up in the winter? Cause I'm just walking around thinking that I'm not gonna get bit. Check it out. Happy snake. This thing's probably four feet long, maybe five. I don't know what my spread is in my arms. Pretty long though. This has gotta be longer than four feet. Pretty good snake. Big ass snake in here that I'm waking up. When he wants the cheese, it backfired. <laughs> oh, it didn't even. This is the hall from our uh, well house. 
their root cellar, whatever you want to call it. These are all the jars we got that are not broken. Um, we'll have to go through and see if any of them are chipped. Uh, we're going to get a final count for this video of, I don't know how to break them up. We could figure out which ones are Ball, which ones are Kern, which ones are Mason brand. And then we could get a pretty comical count of how many cans of green beans they have. Um, quite a bit. So, yeah, this is pretty exciting. And then we still have probably 30 jars down there by the other shed that we, we started with in the video. Um, but we were pretty concerned with having to buy mason jars. We obviously don't have any of our own fruits or vegetables to can yet. But... Um, Hold on, see if Waylon wants to go for a ride. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> we don't have anything to jar or to put in jars or to can yet. So now we don't, jars are not the issue anymore. Now we just need to get lids and we'll be on our roll. We're gonna have to clean them all, obviously. But that's pretty awesome. I. Don't know what these cans are worth or why I'm doing this, but here we are burying food in our yard. We don't have trash cans, I guess. This makes the most sense. I, I dumped a can of uh, something in there from 1985. The lid wouldn't peel off, so I want to say that that might be too old. A lot of this might be edible. I'm not going to find out. I feel like I only want to eat canned food that's a Three years old, maybe? I don't know. This could be more city slicker shit. You know, I'm scared of snakes and I'm not gonna eat the canned food that we found in our fucking uh, pump house. But now we're just gonna have a bunch of food in our ground. It's great. It's called composting. Well, now we're trying to bury this to keep the dogs from, I don't know. How would you have disposed of this? Waylon! We don't have a trash service. We want the jars. Um, so we're just doing, doing what we can. We still have probably 20 jars left to do, but it's starting to rain, so we'll just have to find somewhere else to do that. We wanted to compost, but our compost bin has not been made yet. Yeah, so the dogs would have gotten into it, or maybe some more animals, so it wasn't the best option either. Yeah. So, this is our hall of jars. And we got all the jars down there. I... is there any light on there? No, it's too dark. Anyway, so yeah, you can see. The ones in here and the buckets are from the barn, they're dirty. Anyways, I think we're gonna go through them like Marie Callender's blue cheese dressing. We're probably not gonna hold on to, but this is a badass mason jar. We're gonna go through and actually, you know, there's like Atlas jars, Mason brand. Kerr. Um, yeah, Kerr. There's like three or four big name ones. We'll set all those aside. And I guess we'll just put these in storage. Yeah, we don't need Miracle Whip jars. This is a cool jar. Oh, great. Yeah, we'll keep it. Um, I guess... Yeah, we'll just store the jars until, you know, we need them. And then we'll just clean them. We'll probably do an initial clean, but we just probably throw them in the barn or something. But it's pretty neat to have a bunch of mason jars. I know there's like a shortage of lids, so now it's time to buy mason jar lids. Um... I remember thinking when we were like, oh, let's homestead and we can can our stuff. I was like, that's a lot of money for jars. I mean, you guys buy the, I don't know, 18 or 12 pack of the jars. I don't know what it costs. Let's say $20. I am. Probably have $1,000 of the jars here. <laughs> and I don't know if they're valuable, but we're not getting rid of any of them. We'll be using them. Some of them are. Um, yeah, and we found this gas lamp out there as well. This is pretty cool. It even comes with a snake skin on it. So, I don't know how to use this. We'll figure that out. I think it needs a, a new lid that goes on top. But, anyways, take it easy, everybody. Sell the shit you're not using. Pay off your debts and buy some property and go have some fun. Live a good life.